Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev. So in today's topic, we're going to talk about how to run AI agents directly in your terminal instead of using any IDEs. So uh, hopefully this is interesting and let's get started. Um, so the first app we're going to install, uh, we will run AI agents directly in terminal. Uh, it's called a uh, uh, NeoWin. It's another version of the Vim. If you're already familiar with all the Linux stuff, uh, basically you can just Google NeoWin um, and search for installation. They should be able to bring to this GitHub page and just go to the Linux section and just uh, use this pre-built archives. This is the easiest way to set it up. Uh, do a curl command and move the uh, binary to this folder, which is the OPT folder, and just add the path to it. So as easy as that. Um, after you install new Win on your Linux terminal, and then just go to this lazy Win. It's uh, uh, basically a wrapper uh, on top of the new Win, based on this uh, new Win package manager. Um, so I just go to their uh, install script page. So you can uh, basically click the install here. So it'll bring you up to this page. Just go to installation section. So it just installed lazy Win starter and when you um, run all this command, which is to copy and paste a couple of the folders and packages, and then um, also clone this starter package to the uh, config of win, win folder, it's a new win folder, it's unwin, then you can start this unwin right away. So everything that's um, within AI scope is going to run inside the unwin. So you don't need another uh, IDE like with Studio Code or uh, any other like uh, IntelliJ or something like that, or IDX. So it just directly run in the terminal. So it's gonna be super quick. Um, hopefully this is also very helpful for people that likes to use keyboard and that likes uh, to just do something very quick and light. Um, so yeah, so let's continue. So after you install the uh, lazy wing uh, wrapper, then you can um, just uh, go to a AI uh, plugin, it's called Avante. So uh, it's from the Yetom. Uh, so basically they built the Avante plugin for uh, LazyWin to allow it, uh, all these AI capabilities to run just directly inside the terminal. So we're gonna show that in a little bit. So if you installed uh, NeoWin and a LazyWin, uh, it should give you a interface like this one. So let me uh, quickly just show you. So if you go to NWIN folder, you can see this is actually the lazy win terminal. So it looks really good, right? And uh, after you install the lazy win, now it's time to actually install this um, AI agent plugin. And let's go back to uh, the GitHub of the Avante. So now um, basically go to this section. It's called a uh, Installation section and just copy everything uh, they set in here from here to here. So, this is basically the plug in schema. So, you just copy it and go to your terminal. Uh, just go to your terminal and paste it within this folder. It's um, just use nvin to open that up. So, basically, it's, uh, your uh, root folder dot config nvin lua and plugins. Uh, create a file called avante.lua. Just copy and paste that file there. So uh, let's go uh, to this um, file and just check it out. So if you want to see how the file looks like, just copy um, this path and just do a cat. Right? So just do a cat here, and you will be able to see it. this is uh, exactly uh, we copied from the GitHub page. Uh, one thing to note is that make sure that you also add a return. So return and brackets and paste everything inside. So that's one thing to mention about. Let's go back to uh, the new wing. So another um, thing you want to uh, be aware is that, so after you set up the configuration, uh, you also want to set up the uh, AI agent endpoint like a Grog, OpenAI or a Cloud. So for example, uh, I want to run this on Olama, right? So how do I do that? How do I point in uh, this uh, local terminal-based AI agent to Olama, right? 
So let's go to uh, terminal again. So basically, um, just go to this file. So a local share and win lazy and Avante and win Lua Avante configuration file. Just go to this file. Copy and paste it here. Go to this file. Hit enter. So be able to see and. By the way, this file is automatic setup once you create a plugin. So once you created all this uh, Avante uh, Lua plugin, uh, once you start a uh, new win, it will automatically uh, configuration the plugin and spin up everything. So it will create a file as well that you see here. So the only thing you have to do is just to uh, update these uh, two lines. Endpoint. If you want the Olama, just copy this uh, line. Uh, just order. I uh, just copy and paste the line similar to this one because uh, I have different tutorials to show you how to directly set up Olama for free on Kaggle. Check, uh, please check that out. So just um, copy um, whatever the uh, ungrok domain name slash one to this endpoint because it has to be open air compatible. Or you can use uh, uh, grok as well. Just do the uh, grok standard configuration api.grok.com open air w1. Uh, the model, you can pick whatever model is available for Grok, it would be Llama 3, 170-bit uh, versatile, for example, and for uh, the Olama, you can use any model you want. So for this demo, we use Q1 2.5 coder, and um, you can just configure it very simple. For, for Olama, uh, you have to basically also set up the uh, OpenAI API key as an Olama or any string you want. For Grok, just use the Grok console to get a Grok key and then do export. So let's go to uh, this um, page, basically the terminal page. Uh, so just export, open a, uh, open a API key, uh, whatever the API key you have. It can be a uh, Grok API key or just specify anything if you use Olama or if you use OpenAI Anthropic uh, Cloud. So you can just copy the key um, and paste it here as well. But uh, the key is a little bit different because um, if you use um, Grow, uh, if you use cloud or uh, if you use other uh, providers, uh, the key just use the key that they support. Uh, let's go back to the GitHub page. So you can see from here. So if you use the uh, uh, Anthropic, then use this key uh, API key. Use Azure uh, Open AI, just use Azure Open AI API key, it's similar to this one. So that being said, let's continue. So after you set all that up, um, so it's time to run the AI agent, right? So, so that's the whole point here. Uh, so go to the terminal, just create any folder you want. Uh, so let's uh, close this window. And uh, what we have to do is basically we want to open NWIN first. And then we want to basically use it as a uh, sort of a Visual Studio code, but runs in terminal. So you don't have to install anything else. And we just open up um, basically the window like that. So it's similar to a file tree. Uh, it's called a new tree in a new wing. So then you can just uh, hit A, which is to create a new file or a directory. So let's call it, um, let's uh, want to create a Minesweeper. Um, let's just say I want to create a Minesweeper again. Let's create that. Hit enter. Uh, just hit enter again. So go to that file. And in this file, we just hit um, colon and they will bring up the common line. And in the common line window or the pop up, just type Avante ask. So it will give you uh, basically a prompt saying what is the open API key. Uh, let's say Olama, right, hit enter. So because um, I will use Olama, so you can type whatever you want. So and then we just hit um, enter to actually enter the key. Now we want to create a Minesweeper game. Minesweeper game using Python that runs in terminal. Okay, and hit enter. So sorry, not hit enter, actually it's a control save. So you can see the model we are using is QN 2.5 color and it's basically uh, from the endpoint that we configured. So it started a think and generate response. So you see that's actually working now. So start uh, thinking about it and start a code on it.
is done. So if you want to um, use the AI generated code, just go to this coding code section and hit A. That's it. So it will bring this to this main window, which is the file, mysweeper.py file, and just um, I just hit CA, which is all theirs, which means that the A just write the code. So just CA, which means that you can actually just use um, everything that A has written. And then just hit colon and WQ, you save the file. And the file is saved. Let's test out how it, this works. So let's go to um, this um, folder, which is test one folder. And this is the file we just created. And just do Python and Minesweeper. The py and that's it so that works oh you hit a mine and then let's say five and five good and then zero and zero cool so that's how it works so as you can see this is working perfectly um so this is how you actually run uh, all the a agents within the terminal uh, just using neowin and avante so hope this video is uh, helpful and if you like this video Please subscribe, comment if you have questions, um, or like. And thank you so much. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, see you in the next one.